You know, I had a perfectly good script written as a follow-up for papering over the cracks. And then James O'Keefe published this. And then Google said this. Oh, for the love of God. Well then, shall I share some roasted opinions on this week's Google revelations? Let's set the stage properly. For a while now, independent creators have claimed that YouTube is suppressing their channels and removing their ability to earn money for reasons which amount to censorship. YouTube has announced that they were taking steps to enforce their terms of service more rigorously while denying that they were deliberately targeting any channel or channels in particular in response. YouTube even went so far as to state that there was nothing untoward like partisan politics involved in their decision-making process. Then Project Veritas proved the exact opposite using sources from within the company. Not long after the U.S. government began a detailed investigation of the business practices of YouTube, Google, and Alphabet Incorporated. This investigation is part of a broader investigation into tech giants with an eye towards antitrust violations. The Project Veritas story wasn't what started the federal investigations. It may prove, however, to be key evidence against these tech giants. Now, Alphabet is fighting its toughest fight ever, and I expect that they will pull out all the stops to defend themselves. That includes removing video content from YouTube, which accuses it of unethical and potentially illegal behavior. I expect nothing less, given the circumstances. But I have to say, YouTube... How many creators told you that this could happen? How many times did we warn you that you needed to change your practices? We weren't trying to hurt the platform. We were trying to help it. Independent creators are publishing videos on YouTube about the problems we see with the platform as a sort of open letter to you. We are just as vested in the success of the platform as you are because without YouTube, we have to find other platforms and rebuild our audiences there. Without AdSense, we don't earn as much from our work, if anything at all. Without recommendations, we don't have a chance to build our channels. We can migrate to Minds or BitChute or Gab or some other platform, but the potential for earning a decent living doing what we love to do is greatly diminished because those platforms don't have the reach that YouTube has. That's why we are still here, even as we criticize what some employees of your company have done to us. Here's the situation, folks. YouTube currently enjoys the protection of safe harbor under DMCA so long as they follow the law. And in point of fact, they are following the letter of the law. It's actually annoying how easy it is to have content flagged and claimed through Content ID, especially when presenting that content as evidence in a response video. However, in my experience, the counterclaim process is pretty straightforward and usually results in the content being restored. It costs the channel who published the flag content, hurting the independent creator, but there are millions of independent creators and more starting their own channels every day. YouTube isn't directly harmed by this process beyond a negligible hit to the reputation. The curation of content based on the political leaning of some employees of YouTube is a much bigger issue. YouTube may not have to monetize a channel, but it cannot censor out content based on perfectly legal political positions held out by that content without consequences. Yeah, I said cannot. Let's set aside the free speech arguments for a moment. What happens if YouTube keeps doing this? The platform will eventually collapse. Either the federal government will deem that the platform is engaging in antitrust practices by denying access to the marketplace of ideas and break up Alphabet, or enough creators and viewers will jump to other platforms to make direct competition for YouTube big enough to threaten them. If YouTube dismisses the possibility that they can effectively control the market because of the dominance of Google over internet search engines, platforms, and applications, then the federal government will have more evidence that Alphabet is a trust, and eventually compel the breakup of the company. It can't happen, Roast. These tech giants are too powerful. Tell that to Ma Bell. American Telephone and Telegraph, 
AT&T, was a massive monopoly which controlled nearly every aspect of telephone communication in America through the Bell system. They provided the carrier lines, the switching stations, the telephones themselves through their subsidiary Western Electric. Everything. In 1974, the year I was born, the Justice Department filed an antitrust lawsuit. In 1982, the Bell system was broken up into many separate companies. A natural monopoly, just like the one which each major big tech company enjoys now, was broken into a competitive field. Believe it or not, it can happen again. All that the courts need to do is to decide that the Department of Justice has a case, and this big alphabet can be ordered to break up into its individual letters. The statements released by Project Veritas suggest that YouTube has a serious problem with internal political bias. That may be sufficient evidence to push forward the case that media tech giants are attempting to control political thought by limiting access to those with whom they disagree. Since there is no viable alternative platform for these creators to achieve similar success, that constitutes limiting access to the marketplace. But how can they be limiting access to the marketplace? We still have access to the internet, Roast. Yes, but when the primary search engine is owned by the same company as the primary platform, the traffic will be routed to YouTube by Google, making that platform effectively the marketplace. Google doesn't have to control the internet as a whole. So long as they're routing traffic to YouTube instead of other platforms, they maintain a dominant, almost monopolistic control of the marketplace for independent creators. That's why they're vulnerable. And that's why so many creators, myself included, have told them that they need to change their practices to make them politically neutral. Now it may be too late for YouTube. If you're still watching this video on YouTube, it means that it hasn't been taken down for a violation yet. I'll be posting my videos to mines also from now on so that I will have something if YouTube decides to smite the sinner who dared to tell them that they are wrong.